I really believe that the Y-axis live tool lathe is probably one of the, the best innovations in my career. So my name is Brian Bauer. I'm a president, owner of Roberts Manufacturing Company, along with my brother. My grandfather started the business in 1953 on the family farm, and we still reside here today. We produce components that go into the makeup of hydraulic pumps, fluid conveyance fittings, couplings, things of that sort. We had a part that we had made for a number of years at relatively lower volumes, and the customer came to us to that the, the volume of the part was gonna increase substantially. We knew that we needed to make a change in how we produced it the part was conducive to Y-axis subspindle lathe. We looked at three different manufacturers. We chose Haas basically to come in and participate in that bid. At the end of the day, I liked the total value proposition that Haas brought to the table. The very first DS30Ys that we bought with the live at tools and the Y-axis was for an FD83 program Prior to the DS30Y, the problem that we were having was this part had to run on standalone Morisiki lathes with one operator, two operations, and that would bore our whole turn RODs. And then after that, the part would have to go to a horizontal machining center in order to have the flats and holes put on it. When we got into the DS30Y, to have the Y axis and the live tooling allowed us to have one piece of labor operating two pieces of equipment that would make a finished part. Now this part it comes in as raw material, goes into a box and leaves. Our second project with uh, Haas was looking at getting into high feed machining and looking at what kind of equipment is going to replace horizontal machining centers for my company here. With the VF4 and the Martin Trunnion table, we were able to take a process that would have went through two standalone lathes, OP1 and OP2, it would have went to a horizontal machining center to be machined. It went to a deburr station. Then the part goes out to heat treat and then it would come back for what's called a finished grind. With the Haas VF4 with the trunnion table and a DS30Y with Y axis and live tooling, we were able to make this part complete with a single piece of labor. That's huge for us. We have another part that we bought a DS30Y for that took a special collet being made from Hardage to allow us to take a process that would have taken seven operations down to one operation. You have a FW program that we use the, uh, the DS30Y for to where this part originally was bought with seven eighths inch and a half hex material, 12 foot bars that we would have to cut into sections, run it through a Blanchard grinder, run it through a operation on a vertical machining center, then take it to a horizontal machining center, then take it to a grind station to where the DS30Y, we can buy round material, preheat treat it in the machine, order a custom collet, flex grip, flex C from Hardage that allows us to machine a part in finished in one operation and be able to do it with one piece of labor operating multiple pieces of equipment. In our world right now in manufacturing with labor being as tight as it is, Haas has allowed us to produce the same amount of parts, reduce it, our processes, and reduce the labor that it takes to make the same amount of parts on a weekly basis. So the thing that I like about Haas is the innovation that they're doing, even right now on the DS30Y, looking at making the servo motors better on the subspindles, making things that's more accurate, uh, looking at the EC500 and the pallet changer that they brought in, pallet changing five axis machines that Haas is doing. So when it comes to working with Haas right now, we look at it as saying, hey, the sky's the limit on the things that we're gonna be able to do here, keeping paired with Haas.